All right, guys, Kevin here with my review for this week of Avengers World number seven. Now, I uh, was surprised by this issue in earlier installments of it, uh, it, it or this, this series, I should say. Um, it kind of gives more of a, a spotlight on certain characters, certain random characters, which I like. It's kind of like one of the, like a team up book, but it's it's just one dude in particular per issue, which is sweet. Uh, this particular issue was the Falcon, which I am not a big care, a big fan of. I don't really care too much for him, but um, when he's presented in a really cool way, AKA the Captain America 2 with the Winter Soldier, that was a really awesome way of, of, of doing him, of handling him. Like, I don't like him in the books. That was sweet. Either way, back to the book. Um, even though it was him, I still was enthralled in it. I've still pulled into it. Uh, it doesn't really even center around him, which was kind of funny to me. Um, he's awesome and badass in it, so if you are a fan, don't sweat it. Uh, but still, it's it kind of like has this bigger aspect to it. There's a lot more that goes on, which I really like about that's about this series in particular. It does that a lot with these issues. I mean, Matapur turns out to be on top of a giant dragon. I mean, that just randomly shows up in one episode or in one issue. Like that's pretty sweet to me. So uh, just on the aspect of this being like a big, big, all like canon changing book, I'm gonna give it five out of five nerd skulls. And it's also really badass, so that five out of five nerd skulls holds up. So check it out and let me know what you guys think.